Okay, here's our uh, 1981 full restoration on a customer's late model Moak. Um, just a quick video, I'll do a video underneath just to show you how much detail has gone into this resto. Um, customer was pretty easy to deal with, he specifically wanted the signal red colour, top of the range gal body, um, Twilson 5, motor 1310. Um, all our normal upgrades, electronic ignition for reliability and ease of service, um, pre-engaged starter motor, um, our own modified um, KD shifter, um, which we helped design and develop for KD in the UK, which makes a, a gear shift that was horrible into something that's quite nice. Uh, boosted disc brakes, so we get a, an almost modern car feeling. G'day Kev, how are you? <laughs> We've got all all the high back um, late model seats um, that only came in the very last model if, which were adjustable. Um, they look fantastic in the, um, the satin black with the red piping as per spec sheet. Um, huge amount of work there by Graham. Um, all the seat frames repaired and all um, have been zinc plated as you can see in the diagram in the gold colour. Customer wanted a um, suede steering wheel which is um, doesn't get hot in summer and it's not cold in winter, obviously. Oi. Original handbook there. Dash layout, very simple. Just wanted a, a water temp gauge. Um, our own design of hood, um, new laminated windscreen, etc. Our back seat conversion we've been doing for well over 30 years now. Factory cage. Got as many new old stock parts as we could source and supply ourselves. California kit looks really good. The white California kit looks great against the signal red paint. Um, it's not only just the nut and bolts all being new, but it's the car comes together. Then you've got to develop it. It takes normally a week or two to, to get it driving as well as we can. And then, of course, under the bonnet, which looks stunning. They were never this good when they were brand new. We've got the... Um, the gloss black contrasting nicely in the engine bay single inch and three quarter um, hs carb as i said electronic ignition pre-engaged starter we've got a um, factory a cooper s factory vh44ja booster so a 1275 psi booster which just finishes the brakes off nicely gives that basically a modern car feel rather than the dead pedal that, that a lot of disc brake monks sometimes get um, huge amount of work into that engine bay, but it looks stunning. And luckily the car, uh, well not luckily, there's a huge amount of work that's gone into it, but the car drives just as well, if not better than how it looks. We hope the customer is very, very happy. Great job by all the boys at Mini and Moke World on Sydney's Northern Beaches.